Hi, this is Edison Abelard, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Unity's new UI with the focus on the Canvas uh, element. Now, if you've never heard of the Canvas or have seen anything on the new UI system, then this is a perfect video for you to start with. I'm going to go into just a little bit about it, how do you use it, and when do you use it. Now, we're going to keep this one quick because this gets pretty in-depth, and I'm going to show you a little bit with every component so you'll actually be able to see how to use everything and and get some deeper details of and secrets on how to use all of the elements and use them together so first thing we want to do is is we want to create a new canvas so you can do that by going to game object UI and creating a canvas now you'll notice right away the canvas creates both two game objects, one with um, labeled canvas and the other one labeled of event system. Now, event system actually controls or passes on controls and inputs to the canvas. So if I go ahead and delete these two, I'm going to create a new UI and I'm actually going to use the toggle. When I create the toggle, which you don't see on your screen right now, and that's fine, if I hit this 2D, you'll be able to see all of this. Um, if I come here, we'll, we have our position X and Y. We're just going to set that to 0, 0. Now, you're going to notice a few other things, and that I had this transform uh, scale on, but that's not really what you want to do. Unity's new UI actually came with a new component, and that's this, um, this rec tool, rec transform tool, that allow you to, to better control the UI, which you'll notice is also in 2D. You don't want to do it in 3D. If we hit play, you'll notice that right away we get hover states and we have the ability to click. Now without the actual event system, this doesn't happen. So in play mode, we can actually delete this game object and, and see what happens. And as you can see, or here by my mouse click, you can't change this toggle and that's because the event system no longer exists so it's really important that you have the event system you only need one event system you don't need two right the event system is global but you can have multiple canvases so if I wanted to duplicate this I have two canvases I'm gonna remove the toggle in this one and I'm going to create a slider in the next one I'm gonna grab our make sure we have our rec transform tool selected and I'm just going to move this to the side and now we have two canvases if I hit play I can control both canvases on one screen which is awesome so you don't have to necessarily split your canvases you I mean use one canvas for everything you can split your work up into multiple canvases I'll actually show you that in a later and more advanced video on how you can use multiple canvases before creating game screens which is always really difficult and no matter what engine you use so let's look at some of the render mode because that's really where things get really dicey uh, we're going to skip the rec transform tool just for now because there's going to be a video dedicated just to that and I don't want to get you you know to bong down into all the things because there's a lot of moving parts in that. So let's talk about the render mode. First we have screen space overlay which is what you're currently seeing. Screen, the way screen space overlay works is it's always on top of everything. So if you think about it as uh, in in Unity you have you can have multiple cameras and you can stack them on top of each other and you can have the you know the one on top always on top. Well the way overlay works is it's always no matter what on top of everything on the screen which is really great for when it's great you know but sometimes you want a little more control over that well when you want that control you can choose even though it's it's pretty much the same with just a, a, a slight um, difference you can choose screen space camera now screen space camera is the same thing you know, you'll, you'll notice that the rec transform is still um, Unedible. You cannot edit the rec transform. I keep that open for either one of these screen spaces. So what makes this one different is is that screen space camera. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. We're gonna keep this as an overlay. Screen space camera allows you to add 
a render camera. So if I just duplicate this camera and call this Canvas 2 Cam, if I just call this Canvas 2, I can actually take this camera and just drag it right into this space. And you'll notice that in our scene view, this actually, let me get out of 2D, you can see that it scaled itself down, which is weird, but you notice that it still changes. And that's because screen space, whether an overlay or camera, Unity controls the actual size of the element. So you don't have to worry about you know going to multiple devices. Uh, Unity will take care of that. Now, you still have to do a few things to make sure that it fits on the multiple devices. Uh, but for the most part, they take care of the heavy lifting. And that's why the Canvas uh, Rec Transform tool is not active. Now, the great thing about using this camera renderer is that you can take this camera, and let's say you rotate it to the side. I hit play. Oh, it's in play mode. Awesome. <laughs> if I hit play, actually, let's just redo this. Because I did that in play mode, you're actually not going to see this. Let me duplicate this again. Drop it in there. Alright, so because we did that, you can see that I can rotate this and move it. So for organizational purposes, you can move it around, but if I hit play, you notice that this is now gone. And the reason for that is, is because the camera is what's controlling our UI now. So now you, you'll you'll actually have to uh, to change the camera mode in order to get that. So turning this doesn't actually have an effect because it's still being put on screen space. The only difference is is now your camera's controlling it. So if we decide to hide our camera, so so goes our UI. Now this is great, especially if you have camera um, type effects. If you want to have uh, you know post-processing effects. This is a great way for you to control that. Personally, I like using it for UIs because it's easy to turn on and off a camera than it is to animate everything in and out. Get my drift. So what you really want to do is, 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 is for the most part, if you're using a process that requires a camera, you're going to use the screen space camera mode. If you're using a pro if you don't care and it's always going to be on top, then just use screen space overlay. Now we have a, a third option here and that's world space. So what's the difference between world space and the other and screen space? Well, <clears throat> world space, first and foremost, lives in a 3D world. So if I go ahead and actually create, if I come in here and create a 3D object and I create myself a capsule, which why would it be created at zero zero unity? Uh, you can't really see it because I'm turned to the side. But remember this Rec Transform tool? You'll notice that this is 2D and this one is turned to the side. Well, if I come in here, actually, we're going to want to add another tool, and that's the light, because you won't be able to see our capsule very well. If I select this, you'll notice that the canvas itself has the ability to turn. So if I, if I move this over, you'll notice that the canvas itself is in 3D. Now, I, I do have to make sure that I place it in the same place as our capsule. So let me find our capsule. Get rid of the second camera. Okay, awesome. So this is where our capsule is. Now, the, the thing about using the world spaces is that you really have to think about the space itself. Uh, if I come in here, you'll notice that we have access to the, the rec transforms as well as the scale, which we don't have access to otherwise. But if I look at this canvas, if I just zoom in on it, you'll notice that this canvas is larger than this player. So what, what you end up having to do is, is you have this width and height. You can actually change the width and height to fit whatever ratio you need. And once you find that, that optimal place, then what you can actually do is, is you can actually scale this down. And I'm going to keep scaling and scaling. And boom, now you have a camera that's actually in 3D space. So if I want to, I can rotate this. 
and you know create some really cool effects with rotating the camera hit play mode and you see I still have access to this and I still have the ability to change this so you can see now you can make more screens and more UIs that aren't so boring because now you can use 3D space and that's what our 3D canvas is for Let's change this to 3D canvas just so we know. Now that covers pretty much all we want to go into for this video. Just to recap, we talked about the canvas elements, we talked about the event system and how the event system controls both canvases or really all the canvases that you have in the screen's input and it's important that you always have one in there. Uh, we talked about having the ability to, to change the render mode uh, from canvas to 3D, I mean screen space over to 3D. In the next series of videos, what I'm going to do is go into all the different elements. And in that, we'll talk about a little detail about how the toggle works. We'll talk about um, some of the other ones. If I actually right click here and go into UI, you'll see all of the ones that we'll talk about. And I'll show you how to use them and some of the practicality for each one of those elements. So, till the next video, this is Edison Abelard. I'm out.